This short tutorial is over complex exponential and sinusoidal amplitude modulation. First, some general notation. Let's let C of t represent the complex exponential or the sinusoidal signal, also known as the carrier signal. As usual, we'll let x of t be the information bearing signal or the input, and we'll let y of t represent the modulated signal. So in the time domain, y of t equals x of t times c of t. There are two common forms of amplitude modulation. The first is sinusoidal, where c of t equals cosine of omega c times t plus theta c. The second is complex exponential, where c of t equals e to the omega c times t plus theta c. In both of these cases, omega c is known as the carrier frequency. First, we'll look at the complex exponential carrier, where c of t equals e to the omega c times t plus theta c. We'll let theta c equal zero for simplicity. In this case, y of t equals x of t times e to the omega c times t. By the multiplication property, which we can find in the Fourier transform table, y of omega equals one over two pi, integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x of omega times c of omega minus theta d theta. When c of t is a complex exponential, the Fourier transform is c of omega equals two pi times delta of omega minus omega c. Then y of omega equals x of omega minus omega c. Now let's visualize that transformation. At the top, we have x of omega, which is simply the Fourier transform of x of t. The second plot shows c of omega, which is the Fourier transform of the carrier function c of t. C of omega is equal to two pi delta of omega minus omega c. Notice that this is a shifted delta function centered at omega c with an amplitude of two pi. The convolution of these two via the sifting property yields y of omega, where y of omega is equal to x of omega minus omega c. Notice that y of omega is simply x of omega shifted to omega c with the same amplitude of one. Now back in the time domain, if y of t is equal to x of t times e to the omega c t plus theta c, then it is clear to see that x of t is equal to y of t times e to the negative omega c t plus theta c. In the frequency domain, this simply shifts the spectrum of the modulated signals back to its original position on the frequency axis. This is called demodulation, but it is beyond the scope of this tutorial.